Hi everybody, this is Gregor from Personos and today we're going to talk about one of my very favorite features of Studio One. This has actually been a complete game changer for me when I found out that you can actually do this and that is ghost outputs in Studio One. You can use them to either render exactly what you're hearing in Studio One onto a new audio track. So you can fix problems with a plugin that doesn't behave nicely upon mix down, or you can render your outboard gear very easily, or you can just print down a section while writing some automation as it records that you don't want to change anymore as you're progressing with the mixing of the other sections in the song. There's really a lot of possibilities, even some creative ones, and I'm gonna cover a couple of them right now. But first, let's check out how to set it up. So you go to Song, Song Setup, and Audio I.O. Setup. Now you go to the Output tab, and we're gonna add uh, another stereo output here, like this. And this you can even do if your interface or mixer doesn't even have a separate output because we don't want to assign any analog output to this new port here. So as you can see, I just called this none and it's going to make a lot more sense in just a sec. So let me show you one use case of this in case you're not really familiar with the workflow that I just described. What often happens to me is that I'm super happy with this bridge, now I move on to the chorus, I start changing a couple of levels, then I jump back to the bridge and I'm like, oh no, I was actually adjusting a couple of things here also that I didn't mean to adjust. So now we can just create a new audio track and this new audio track we're gonna assign to none, which is the new output that we just assigned in the song setup. As soon as we assign a different output than the main out, we are actually able to set the master output as our input on this audio track, okay? And now it's as easy as just maybe calling it mix print because that's literally what it is. And then you just hit record and that's it. You can also automate stuff as you're recording. And if you're thinking right now, yeah, I can also do that by just exporting my mix down. This is just one example. Consider that you might have some outboard gear, maybe a preamp, a bus compressor, you name it, that needs to be recorded in real time. Then it's super handy to always have this audio track available that you can use to print your mix down. Also, when you want to do the entire mix down in real time and you encounter a dropout or something halfway, you don't need to start over. You can just cut the recording where the dropout occurred and keep recording from there. So let me show you one more example. And uh, in this case, I want to show you how you can use this ghost output that we just created to trigger sidechain effects just from MIDI. So you don't actually hear what's causing the sidechain to happen. You can only hear the effect. So let me just play you what we have really quickly. So right now I don't have any side chaining going on. So let me just go to the compression insert on my bass. And now I can just side chain that to my kick drum by clicking on this arrow here and taking this box, just like that. Let's do the same thing on my pad. And now you can really hear that stop and go effect. But what if I want to sidechain like that without having to use a kick drum for it? Maybe I don't want a kick drum there, but I just want that ducking effect to happen. Well, right here you can use that ghost output once more. So instead of going for the master, I go for none. And as you can see, these notes are still triggering the sidechain because even though the kick drum isn't going to the main out anymore, it's still going to the compression inserts of my bass and my pad. And now I can just set notes wherever I want and build my own independent sidechain pattern. So this is a completely different way in which you can use ghost outputs in Studio One. Try working with them. I'm sure you don't want to miss them anymore going forward.